Hello guys, this is your reading for November. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, what's currently going on around my Cancers for the month of November? Please show me. Energy around Cancer for November, the Empress feeling yourself. I like it. Okay. Um, working on yourselves, building your confidence up, feeling secure in who you are. Um, and knowing that you can make it on your own if need be. I feel for some of you, some of you guys have actually just found out you, that you're pregnant, but you're no longer with this person. And um, you're feeling like, you know, it is what it is. And I'm going to make the best out of my situation, move forward and, and grow, you know, by yourself with your child. Okay. Some of you, I feel like are wanting to... Um, start over with someone feeling like somebody is the one somebody that you can have it all with taurus libra aries energy is here and present <clears throat> what's crossing my cancers queen of cups yeah i feel that you're 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 <laughs> i'm stuttering but i feel like you guys or feeling like somebody is the one but at the same time I feel like you're shielding yourselves um, afraid of being hurt afraid of being too vulnerable in a situation with this person I think um, it is to be more open was challenging you um, or was crossing you is to be more open to be um, to put your feelings out there to put your heart out there not saying that you should wear your heart on your sleeve no 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 but to leave yourself open enough to where you can make the right decisions for you in your heart space using your head and your heart to make the right decisions for you what's going to make you happy okay <clears throat> using discretion here let's see what is the underlying issue for cancer sign mm. I think that um, your happiness is being affected right now because uh, there's a situation that knocked you guys down for a minute and I feel right now you're in the process of building yourselves back up. Um, but I think you're putting up a wall and becoming, you know, the Empress is, is the feminine energy of the Emperor. And the, they both can be a little stubborn at times, um, get stuck in their ways. Okay. So I think you guys probably need to open yourselves up more like I said with <clears throat> with the Queen of Cups and you have to be vulnerable in order to allow yourselves to fall in love to be honest with you okay so I think that is the issue is like really just opening yourselves up um, knowing yourselves knowing what you want your happiness is the issue here what is truly going to make you happy Figuring that out and going for it, okay, and doing what you need to do in order to have it. Leo energy. In the recent past for Cancer. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. For some reason, I'm feeling like this is somebody. This is somebody. I feel that either you guys were married to on paper or you were married to them, period. If you live with someone, if you were in a relationship with someone, to me, that's like being married. If you guys were exclusive or if there was a situation where it was unspoken that you guys were exclusive, that's considered like marriage to me, okay? Um, you don't have to really have a piece of paper to say that you are committed to this person and this person only. So I definitely feel like this is someone for a lot of you guys. Um, I feel like you would like to make it work with them. I feel like you guys are a match. Um, as far as like energetically, you both kind of want the same things. I feel like both of you can be a little stubborn though is the thing. Okay. 
Um, I don't know if you guys have divorced or if you have just separated or are going through things. I think for some of you, you're actually just going through some separation or either you're unsure if this person is the one for you. If if this is really what's going to make you happy. Some of you are, are thinking about like separating, going out on your own, doing something different, doing what truly makes you happy here. Hmm. Crowning thoughts for cancer. King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. I feel like, you know, there's something that has happened that with this person, it's like they're not the person that you thought they were. Um, I feel like there's some manipulation that you feel like has taken place. This person is very cold, very angry, very aloof, um, plays mind games. It's like they're not the person that you thought they were, were or this person has changed. And this, what it, this is what is on your mind. It's like, you know, knowing that you need to separate from this person, that you should not just hold on to someone just for the sake of security here. Hmm. Taurus, uh, Gemini energy I'm feeling for some of you guys here. What's coming in for Cancer? Ten of Wands here. Carrying the responsibility all by yourself. I feel like you guys have been trying to make something work with someone for a long time. And you're just kind of coming to grips with the fact that this shit is not working for you. Is what I'm getting here. It's like, it's just not working for you. And it's, it's time to like take your energy away from this person, especially if they are not the person that you thought they were or they've changed towards you. It's like realizing who you are and what you want here. Building yourself up to the point where you will no longer sacrifice your happiness for this person. Or just because some of you um, have just found out that you are pregnant even. Okay? Not staying with someone just for, um, for the sake of a child. If you are truly unhappy. How is cancer viewing themselves in this situation? Five of Cups. Yeah, you have a lot of regrets. Um, you're very hurt. I get that. Some of you broke up with this person and actually got back with them. And you're feeling like, you know what, that, ne that never should have happened. Having regrets about this situation. Having regrets about getting back together. It's like, you know, I, I wish I'd never done it. Scorpio energy. <clears throat> What's the influence here for Cancer? The Eight of Swords. There's a lot of shit that happened in the past that you know you can't get over. It can't be undone. It can't be rectified. Mm -hmm. It's just too much. It's too much for you. You've sacrificed a lot. You've sacrificed a lot. And I think that you have taken, you know, most of the responsibility of this relationship on your shoulders. But you're still feeling kind of restrained in your thought processes because um, you do have a history with this person. And you quite possibly share a child with this person. It's like you have a lot to think about. You have a lot on your plate. Hopes or fears for cancer. The Knight of Pentacles. You're hoping that you can make the right decision when it comes to this person. You're hoping that um, 
you just want to take your time and really like decide map out what it is that you're going to do and for some of you guys you're hoping that this person will turn around that things will change that you guys can can at least talk things out work things out and it will be long lasting you're hoping for lasting change in this situation for somebody to change their ways and be more you know active in your situation the other person be more active in this situation with you and not so stubborn because I feel like both of you guys are very strong personalities here what is the overall outcome for cancer the world I like it. I like it. With the world, there is an ending, though. There is an ending. Um, the world comes with all of these lessons. And once you learn these lessons, they may be very, very hard lessons. As a matter of fact, they are very hard lessons that you learn. But once you have that under your belt, you can start over. You can move forward. And good things will come from it. You will prosper. You will prosper. You will blossom. So I'm getting that you guys are sticking to your guns as far as what it is that you want and what you feel like you need and what's going to make you happy and that's going to work out for you in the long run now i do feel that this person that you're thinking about they definitely want to start over with you this is probably somebody that you've traveled with um somebody you have a lot of online communication with or texting or something like that but um I feel like things are going to change for the better for you. But you have to be open to these lessons and learn these lessons in order to be able to, to start over and move forward. Okay? In a positive way. And the other person too. Taurus. Virgo, not Taurus, Virgo, but Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Leo energy here with the world. Very fixed energy. There's longevity here in this situation, one way or the other. If you decide this person's not for you, then this person's not for you right now. Okay? And I feel like if you and this person were to get back together, if you decide that they're not for you, it will be a while. It will be a long time before you guys actually come back together. Um, several years. Okay. For some of you. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.